defeat his arch nemesis Borgau. There is nothing like a bit of Muay Thai on Muay Thai action. Akona, 174cm69.4kg K1 World Max 2004-2006 Sekai Oja Braco Bo Braco 
absolutely massive ovation for Buakao. They love him here in Japan, and a lot of ties have made the trip over from Thailand. You can see the Thai flags waving around this auditorium. And Yoshihiro Sato, the local. Well, not local Tokyo, he's from Nagoya, but he's the Japanese fighter here tonight, so he has the crowd behind him. One of these two men will move through to October 1 to face either Masato or Drago. There is a nine centimeter height advantage going the way of Yoshihiro Sato, the experience. The power goes the way of Buakao. Perhaps Yoshihiro Sato is the harder worker, but no doubt Buakao has the stronger hands, the stronger kicks, and the stronger knees. Both men's conditioning is awesome. Yoshihiro Sato is a cardio machine, as is Buakao. Final blessings in the corner. The trainers will remove the Mongon from around the head of Yoshihiro Sato and then of Buakao. And we will be set for three three-minute rounds under K1 rules. Three judges ringside are scoring on a 10-point must system as Masato prepares backstage for his main event against Drago, which is coming up after this one. Buakao, Sato are ready. Here we go. First round of action. Michael Chevello, Sugar Ray Sipper with their inside. And once again, the Budokan comes alive. Look out for the kicks on Buakau. Look out for the work rate of Sato. He says that he has finally unraveled the mystery of how to beat Buakau. Let's see how it plays out for Yoshihiro Sato. He recently opened up a chiropractic clinic in Nagoya, did Yoshihiro Sato. I think it's only because he wants the free massages. <laughs> So far, sitting behind his jab as Bulakow fires his first true leg kick of the fight. The thing about Sato is that he's a complete fighter. The only problem is that he doesn't, you know, most times he doesn't put it together the way you, you know, the way he can. And that's what makes him boring sometimes. Have a look at that. Bulakow just a show of strength, just dumped into the canvas like he was yesterday's garbage. Front kick to the midsection from Bulakow. High left round kick from the tie. Jab, right hand from Bulakau, snakes the hands around the back of the neck. And when that happens, when a guy of the Muay Thai prowess of Bulakau snakes the hands around the neck, you're in a whole lot of bother. I would have thought that Sato would have, uh, you know, watched the fight against uh, Masato and Bulakau. And taken and a few lessons exactly, from it. Exactly, and you know, maybe put his hands, you know, mix his hands up a little bit more rather than just sitting at the back and trying to use his reach. Of course, it was here at the Budokan on October 3rd, 2007, that Masato dropped Buakau in the third round on his way to the final. Front kick there from Yoshihiro Sato. Nice jab from Sato, fires a front kick. Buakau goes downstairs. Right hand from Buakau. Turning left hand from the tie. Have a look at the physical specimen that is Buakau. He is absolutely bucked here tonight. Under a minute remaining in the first round, Bukau fires out the right hand. Sato cannot afford to fight on the back foot against Bukau. But Like Albert Krauss says, um, he's, he's one of these fighters that he's just there, he's tough, and no matter what you hit him with, you just keep coming. Front kick again from Sato. Bukau checks the low kick. Here's the right hand from Buakau, rings the ears of Sato. Probing jab from Buakau. Ooh, round kick caught on the forearms by Sato. Buakau launches the big tough thumping right hand. And there's a turning right hand again. Sato complained to the referee momentarily about something. He thought, kick there from Buakau. Right, he thought um, Buakau threw an elbow. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Buakau looks to be in control. Nothing has phased him so far. Digs him with an uppercut. End of the first, and ooh, a little bit of non-sportsmanship there from Sato. Buakau went to shake his hand at the end of the round. Sato turned his back on him. Well, I mean, you know, uh, Sato was thinking that Buakau threw an elbow. Hence the reason why he was complaining to the referee. Uh, maybe that's why he's like, nah. I don't want to know you until the fight's over. You know that Buakau is a nasty fighter in centering it. Get 
trying to tag with the right hand there. Boom, through the guard, just to the left orbital bone of Sartor that he broke the first time they fought. Wonder if the memories all came gushing back then, Ray, for oh, Yoshihiro oh, Sato. For sure, and also for Puka, he wants to break it again. He's made no secret of that, in fact. Yeah. He actually has said he would, wouldn't mind breaking the face of Yoshihiro Sato again. Kaluno, ringside. He, of course, has made it through to the finals of the Dream Grand Prix. Masato is backstage preparing for Drago. It is all happening here at the Budokan as we roll into round two. And Yoshihiro Sato comes out kicking. I like to see Sato actually throw an uppercut after that jab, long jab of his. Step up knee from Yoshihiro Sato. Oh, Buakao cracks away to the lead thigh, evades the uppercut, goes to the rear thigh of Sato. He must have heard of us. <laughs> we are sitting pretty close to the ring. And Buakao dumps into the canvas. Would have been good in mixed martial arts, he went into side control. <laughs> Back to their feet, jab two from Sato. Right hand glancing, left hook from Buakao. Uppercut from Sato, that's more like it from Sato. Well, this is exactly right. I mean, the uppercut, like, as you were saying earlier, it'd be good to see him throw an uppercut after that jab, and it's, again, uh, it's working for him. Oh, there's the right hand from Buakao. His hands have come along in leaps and bounds over the last two years. Nice knee to the rib cage, right hand to the jaw, has Sato doing a quick count of his teeth. Good jab, sticks it on the jawline again, does Buakao. I'd like to see Sato after that knee combination, and, you know, throw a straight right down the middle. Buakao, the lead right hand, rocks the head back of Sato, then goes to the outside rear thigh. Buakao is just so powerful, it's scary to hear that slamming of the shin against the thighs of Sato here. Nice uppercut from Sato. That, that was a nice uppercut. Now he needs to, you know, follow up with a left hook. Jab outside, thigh kick from Buakao. Sticks a front kick, the teeth kick. Buakao goes to the rear leg again of Sato. He's favoured chopping away at the rear leg rather than the lead leg here tonight so far. Has the tie. Teeth kick again to the midsection. Outside thigh kick to the lead thigh. I've got to say, this is the best round I've seen Sato fight. It is a very cerebral fight from Sato as he walks into a right hand, licks the leather again from Buakao. One minute remaining, second round of three. Left hook from Buakao, fires a side kick, right hand. Sticky jab, but he drew the short straw, did Buakao. Sato needs to have come through a whole lot heavier, though. That was his opportunity. And now Buakao counters. Teep kick again to the midsection from Buakao. Oh, there's the left hook. Well, you can't afford to relax in there like that with Buakao, because Buakao is very good at throwing those long punches. Hook again from Buakao. He's got more hooks than a Pirates convention here in the second round. Jab two from Buakao. If Sato is going to stand, this, you know, it's going to stand and use his jab. He needs to stay out of the range. Oh, he tagged him! He tagged him! Sato's on rubber legs, but he fires back. Buakao tagged him in two clean punches, and Yoshihiro Sato digs deep into the tank. And this is what Albuquerque was talking about. Yoshihiro Sato is the sponge. He can absorb all sorts of punishment, and he absorbed it there, Sugar Ray. He sure did. I mean, that was a beautiful combination from uh, Pukau. Sato, you know, wore the weather, and um, came back straight after that, after the combination. I mean, if I had to choose the, the winner out of that round, it would have to be Sato, because he landed the uppercut, he landed a straight right, he landed a jab. He was a lot busier than Pukau in that round. I have to agree with you. Unofficially, we'll give it one round apiece. Buakao in the first round, Yoshihiro Sato in the second round. Buakao almost had him towards the end of the round, bundled up in the neutral corner in front of our commentary position. He caught him sweetly with those two punches, and Sato was rocked, but the result and the heart of Sato to come back after two solid, solid shots. I truly understand what Abercrombie was talking about when he said that the two times he's fought him, he's hit, he hit him with everything and the guy keep coming. So he proved it tonight when I mean, he got hit with those two shots. Third round and this fight is still wide open as Masato is backstage watching on the closed circuit screen. Here we go. And they've come out to throw down early on. Sato needs a clever and a tenacious round here in the third. 
Poor cow, the high left round kick, Sartor with the uppercut, step across the outside, thigh kick. Nice combination work from Sartor! Nice combination work from Sartor! Yeah, very nice combination, and if he keeps this up for the next two and a half oh, minutes... Oh, with it, the left hand! It could be an upset. Buakau with the jab, to it again! They are going for it, hammer and tongue, and listen to them raise the roof of the Budokan! Going up the centre corridor is Buakau. And he ties up Sartor. They tango. Referee separates them. It is still anyone's fight for the taking, Ray Ray. Well, that's right. And Sartor just needs to keep his hands flowing. So to keep that jab in the Buakau's face, uppercut, left hook, just keeps throwing those punches. My Sartor did it in their last encounter. Beat him easy. Dropped Buakau. So Sartor needs to do the same right now. Nice knee to the rib cage from Buakau. All tied up, he catches him with the left hand. Drifts back to centre ring, fires a deep kick to the midsection. Glancing right hand again from Buakau. He's got more rights than Amnesty International. Asato tries for the high knee. Long reaching jab from Buakau. I gotta say, this is the best I've seen Sato fight. This is a fantastic fight from Sato. He said he thought he'd unraveled the mystery. He certainly is doing a lot better. Is it enough to push him past the finish line on the judges' scorecards? Oh, oh, the big kibosh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! The big kibosh! It's over! It's over! It's over! It is over! Major upset! Oh, major upset! It's well, got no rain! Listen to this place! has gone bananas, Ray! Oh, my God! This place has gone bananas! The whole place has erupted! <laughs> Unbelievable! Bullet cow is out! Buakau is out! Oh my goodness! Sato and Sato, you just made a new fan! Buakau is still unconscious on the canvas! He is astral traveling! Buakau is out! I can't believe it right! You know, just before, just before he got dropped, I was like, I think he's getting tired, but he got hit with the right hand. He followed up with shot and he's out. Open the fridge. He is still out cold here in Century. That was an amazing knockout. Oh, knock my goodness. I mean, that's... Uh, uh, you know, my, uh, Sato has just made another fan, honestly. I mean, uh, he proved me wrong tonight. He was exciting. He's put things together. He put combinations together. And there's not many people that can say that they knocked out my um, book out. Oh, my word. And knocked him out cold. The ringside doctor just asked Buakau what his name is, and Buakau said Friday.